So remember that uh, failed, remember this when the smokestack came down? This was unbelievable, something out of a movie. This was in Little Village, one of Chicago's worst ever environmental episodes. Uh, and the news is not any better this morning. There's a new study out and it finds that our children or your children, to be more precise, attending school here in Chicago are dealing with some of the greatest environmental risks in the entire nation. Yeah, Chicago actually ranks in the top five for the worst cities for pollution near public schools. And joining us with details on this is Michael Kailas. He is a UIC professor and a co-author of that study. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning to talk about this. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. You know, and as alarming as the study is, um, it does need to be noted, though, that black and Latino kids, they are facing greater threats than their white counterparts, right? Correct. The, uh, the focus of the study was the proximity of schools to hazardous sites, and that included uh, rail yards, um, industrial facilities that report in, in, uh, in a federal program called the uh, Toxic Release Inventory Program uh, that includes highly toxic uh, chemicals. And of course, uh, you know, industrial roads, which is another major issue. So what we found is that the, um, the uh, uh, children, especially of the Southwest, are, are uh, highly um, uh, exposed to these, uh, are very likely to be highly exposed to these hazards, okay? Um, it, the study is not nationwide. I, I, I don't, uh, we never claim that. Uh, we hope to do a nationwide study later on, but uh, right now it involves only Chicago. Well, let me ask you this, because you point to a couple of areas, neighborhoods, Pilsen, a uh, little village, back of the yards. Correct. Why are these neighborhoods worse than some of the others here in Chicagoland? As you can see from the map, uh, the major issue is structural. It's uh, it's uh, th those neighborhoods are right in the middle, in the middle, okay, surrounded by the so-called uh, industrial corridors of Chicago. Uh, they've been there forever, uh, <laughs> probably a century. Uh, so th that's a major issue. Uh, the uh, the uh, the industrial corridors, and of course, industrial corridors attract a lot of industry. And the other big advantage for the industry, disadvantage for the community, is that, uh, as you know, these uh, communities, Pilsen, Little Village, uh, McKinley Park, are very, very close to the two major uh, east-west, north-south highways of Chicago. So, you know, if you put all those things together, you can understand why the industry is attracted to that neighborhood, those well, neighborhoods. So talk to us about the negative impacts that this kind of pollution has on families, on children. Um, I, I got to imagine the first thing that comes to mind is um, their health. Um, well, uh, we, we don't ha we, we did not do a health outcome study, uh, but if you talk to residents and we, we sure do, a lot of uh, them complain, uh, you know, about uh, their kids having asthma, uh, uh, missing school days, and sometimes even, uh, uh, you know, uh, parents uh, having to stay home and losing, uh, you know, a, a day of work just to take care of their sick uh, children. Um, in general, the Southwest, especially the Southwest, okay, and, and we know about the Southeast as well, uh, are, are heavily um, populated uh, by uh, industry. As I said, uh, the uh, toxic release inventory facilities that have to report to the federal government. Uh, we got to end uh, it there, Michael. I'm so sorry to cut you off. Michael Kalis with UIC, associate yes. professor. Perhaps, though, we could have you on in a year or so and see if things have gotten any better. Uh, but thank you so much for your time, and we appreciate the study. I hope, I hope, and thank you so much for inviting me. Absolutely. All right, have a wonderful day.